Yo, 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 what up? Pushing the Bay TV. It's your boy Clyde Carson, man. We live in the studio. We chilling. We hanging out, man. You know what it is, man. Let's keep it lit. Pushing the Bay TV. Ah. The revolution will not be televised. The revolution is now. <laughs> hey, what's poppin'? Pushing the Bay TV land. How's it going? Appreciate everyone's support. I had a lot of people from Mexico and the UK and all types of places asking for a dude who I thought, who I didn't even know has been in the game for 10 years. Clyde Carson, what's up? Uh, revolutionary warfare, no fear. I got me a gun and I will go there. Oh yeah, please understand, I ain't programmed. Hold down the fort whenever it's a showdown. Hold now. What's up, man? How you doing? Man, I'm just chilling. Where are we at right now? Oh, uh, we in San Francisco. We at a uh, high studios. You know, a lot of people don't understand that you've been in the game for 10 years. Can you talk about maybe the history of you, yourself, obviously the team? I started when I was uh, 18. I was like, uh, I wanted to, you know, pursue music. So I really wanted to fuck with music. And uh, first dude I met was a cat named One Thing. And I started, you know what I mean, recording music, putting that stuff out. But it was just local stuff, you know, just passing out, doing what I do, you feel me? And then uh, keep, keep working, you know what I mean? You just network, keep your, net, keep your network game up. And, you know, from team is just family, you feel me? So that music from the freestyles to... You know, to, it's getting hot to the different team albums and the mixtapes and, you know, all that shit just be building up to the point. I mean, I used to live out in New York. When I, when, I mean, yeah, I, I mean, I, when I, when I uh, first started, man, I went out to New York just to see if I could rap, you feel me? I went out there, I, uh, a kid that was on Bad Boy named Kane Siafi. He was on his tour, you feel me, with Lil' Kim. And so it was like some, some big tour, a TRL tour. Okay. And yeah, so I yeah, yeah, I ended up shooting out there, messing with him and his people, being around the whole industry at like two thousand it was like two thousand one, two thousand two. Yeah, I was out there. So that's before the bait thing really popped. Yeah, that was before the bait that was before the bait thing. Like there, it was the, the main music that I was listening to in the bay was my music, you feel me? Which is yeah, my music. Straight it was like kick the sneak three times crazy, you feel me? I mean that was that was the music. Be astounding, formatic surrounding, big paint, drink down it off the sound, then you pound it. Lanky lounge, trying to get lit. I'm supposed to meet my folks at the club. A cutie eye, trying to get you to the hit What was it about the rap game that influenced you? You know, it's a two, they got a life, I'm a victim of it. Like, I grew up watching Too Sure, I grew up watching DJ Quick, I grew up watching, you know, looking at different motherfuckers on TV, and shit, I'm human, man. I'm like, man, I wanna do that shit, you feel me? I wanna go up in that motherfucker and, and fuck with it and do whatever the fuck I want and just live that life, you feel me? So, that's really that's really what inspired, you know what I mean? I'm, on, I'm, on, I'm grinding right now, you know what I mean? This is, it's, a, it's a career, you feel me? I started in 99, it's, it's 09. Um, I've, not, I've never released a project, you feel me? You know what I mean? So you've never officially released a project? Other than team music, you feel me? Um, at, me, as a, me, as a, me as a solo artist, I haven't dropped a mixtape, I haven't, you know, I haven't really done anything. So for me, I still feel like, you know, I'm grinding. I don't feel like I've, I've made it. I, I'm not on TV every day. I'm not, you know. You are a very serious businessman on top of the rap thing. I mean, you got the hypey juice thing that I want to get into, but also you got Moto and you got a lot of things. I really think that people in the Bay need to step their game up and realize that it's not just about rap. Can you maybe talk about, first of all, your ventures that you got going, hyphy juice in 06? If you watch MTV or listen to some of the popular radio stations, you might be familiar with the term hyphy. With us is Clyde Carson co-creator of the hyphy energy drink let's get into that first because that's the most probably recognizable thing people know you from we took the energy from the community we was rapping in and you know i i mean really it's just you, you see you see great competition out there you look at other artists as peers i mean shit fucking little john had uh crunk juice nelly had pimp juice just like he said with crunk i mean you know they got energy drinks uh, to represent their sound and i think we needed something for the culture we knew that it was a real big out here in Oakland in the Bay Area, so you know we created Hyphy Juice. It tastes delicious, and right now it's just crazy in the Bay right now. What about Forties Water? Did you help him with that, or? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, my man, my man came up with. You know, what I mean, they, they sat down, had ideas. You feel me? And it was a mutual thing. It was a good thing. You feel me? It's still out there. You feel me? Forty Water and Source. Shout out to my man Forty Water. What up, Watermelon? You know what I mean? Yeah. And everybody doing that. See, we doing that. I'm in my way. And, and let's get into that real quick. You you rap with a lot of people, the game, R. Kelly, Sean Kingston, Snoop, and obviously Bay Legends like you know Keek and Forty, like you were talking about. Talk about some of the artists and how have you been able to do that? I 
gonna go R. Kelly though. I just, I just, no, nah, I just jumped on that, man. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I just jumped on that. I mean, you know, I heard it, you know, jumped on him and gassed him one time. And then he should have, he should have fucked with you then. Yeah, I mean, if he want to, man, I, you know, I'm just giving the music. You feel me? I just, you know, that's, that shit was dope. I heard that, really, I heard that shit. And I was like, man, I got to get on this. I got to jump on it. So, shout out to R. Kelly for making that hot shit. Take it to the hotel, baby. I hotel, motel, holiday. This is where I go with my favorite friends. We be off a cardi, off juice and gin. Show after party, back to the woods. You know how we get down. You know what we do. You could be with me, or you could see the crew. What about that Richie Rich joint, Addicted to the Life? I mean, that's something that is gigantic. Keep it real. Uh, Rich is a big influence. You know, like, his swagger, the way, you know what I mean? You know, growing up, he, he always had, uh, you know, had presented himself as a boss, you feel me? Big whips, hot cars, you feel me? Fresh, you feel me? Iced up, you know what I mean? It's addicted to the life. That's what we do. I do it for ourselves, but we give it to you. Addicted to the life, hoes in the ice, draw with the light, got chrome on the right. Number one rapper, flow on the mic. Wait before the deal, I was known cause I'm nice. Addicted to the life. We both in that same field. So, you know what I mean? Do you consider yourself a singer or rapper or both? What what do you classify yourself? I don't even know, but I'm just gonna keep it lit. I I I really enjoy hip hop. I love hip hop. I, I moved to New York to fuck with hip hop. You feel me? To see if I was really an MC. I went and did the battles. I did all kind of shit. You know what I mean? And I I, I, I st I'm still an MC, but you know I be singing too. I I mean you know it's pretty much. You know, it's like when I rolled up, remember that shit with the with the boys from Messy Moore, Juicy, yeah, that shit, man. Yeah, I love street show love. I just wanna be on the block with my thug. Yeah. I just wanna sit in the drop on my drug. Open up the doors and turn the beat up. I, I didn't think I was gonna do some shit like that when I did that, you feel me? But that's just what came out. So that was kind of my first, like, oh shit, I, you know what I mean? And this other shit, you know, like the hypey juice shit. And shit me and Kaiser was always doing, you feel me? You know what I mean? With the whispers and the, and the different singing shit, so. Yeah. You spoke about freestyle, and I know one of the big videos on YouTube is the Mr. Fab versus you at the K Meal, I think uh, Bay Area something type of. That was a classic day, man. Real fun day, man. What's up? Bottoms up, getting ripped in the club. Check my style. The hot gets down, the hot gets round, round. I rep town. 